Hello and welcome to Tatagar GS Prep English. Dear student, today we shall have a critical analysis on the defense recruitment scheme that is Agnipath. And we will also try to understand the issue surrounding it and why the large scale of a violence erupted all across the country. Here, firstly, I would like to urge I would like to urge all aspirants don't opt for violent outrages like vandalizing the public property okay just i would uh, request you to rather go for the non violent means of the protest let us look at the what is agnipas scheme is all about it's a one of the recruitment process through which the personnel will get recruited that is particularly to the short term recruitment to the our defense forces for army navy as well as for the air force this is those who recruited from this scheme will be called as the agni wheel the post to which they will recruit to the defense forces is called as the non commissioned officers i will take you in a minute to the hierarchy of the post and here one thing i would like to mention is that in the recent past our first cds led bipin rao has talked about the tour of a duty tour of a duty where he has a uh, at that time it was in the news like that uh, the recruited will be recruitment will be for the 3 years something like that and many other components which all uh, consisted in the agnipas scheme and coming to the other components of the agnipas scheme here for these posts for defense posts from now onwards the soldiers those who actually these are the agnipas are the soldiers the agni plus scheme will be the only the sole entry to the to become a agni wheel or soldiers many have a confusion with that whether this will be the agni plus scheme will be parallel to the existing one or uh, this one will be the different one but it's a clear that this is the only sole entry to our defense force for the becoming a soldier and this scheme will progressively open for the women in the coming days talking about this other component these agni wheels will be recruited every year around 45 to 50 thousands and these agni wheels will be ensured four years of the employment or service after the four years only 25% of the agni wheels will be absorbed for the another 15 years and the rest 75 will be demobilized from the service and these agni wheels will not get any pension will not get any pension this has caused the reason behind the violence that we are witnessing now and these agni wheels will get a life insurance of a 48 lakhs which is a non contributory in nature and in case of a in case of a death attributing to the service he will get a additional 44 lakhs these are the main components of the agni bus scheme and here you can have a look on how the hierarchy is for the army these are for the commissioned officers ranks these are for the non commissioned officers the agnipath personnel person will be recruited as the nayak or havaldar for this post and coming to the the salary for the agnivir here he will for the first year he will get a 30000 for the fourth year he will get a 40000 out of which from the first year itself he will get in hand only 70% and 30% will be 30% will be deducted to the seva nadi and additional 30% of the same amount is deposited by the government of india cumulatively it will get, it will be saved into the seva nidhi uh, about 10 10 lakh 4000 will be saved upon upon which the interest will be added and uh, after the fourth year the agni will get, get the 11.71 lakh okay 11.71 lakh after the fourth year this is the how the salary structure of the agni wheel one more component i was going to mention is that uh, the age okay the age the minimum age will be the 17.5 years and the maximum age will be the 21 years only for this year the age relaxation is given due to the covid 19 covid 19 there was a no recruitment for the last two years considering that fact only for the this year okay don't confuse only for this year the age 
upper age will be the 23 years and from the next year it will going to be 17.5 to 21 years whenever there is a new scheme rolled out by the government it must be accompanied with the certain benefits of its own let us look at the some of the benefits that agnipa scheme has firstly the average age of the our defense force will be reduced from 32 to 26 years in a next 8 years thus it will lead to the our defense for more linear the advantage of the more linear is that the more the younger people will be recruited those agnipa will be more linear and uh, more active and more advantages in the battlefield and uh, one more benefit is that it will have a slightly more okay not a more job opportunity because anyhow 75 percent of the agni will be demobilized after four years so we can say that the slightly more job opportunity will be given now one more advantage is that buffer force backup okay buffer force backup it means that those agni waves after the fourth year of the service they the 75 percent will be demobilized those will be back to the our society back to the our society in case of any emergencies if they are if their need is uh, arisen then they will be called upon to do the service back here the one most important benefit is that it will reduce the burden of the defense pension bills okay defense pension bill here in this diagram you can uh, have a look that uh, out of a 5.2 trillion of the defense budget almost 1.2 trillion will go for the pension and other another one point nearly two trillion will go for the salaries and the for the weapons we are spending very least considering this is the pension itself considers consists 30 percent of our defense budget our defense budget 30 percent of our defense budget is only pension okay it's a of course burden and if you look at a some figure in 2020, India's defense budget is the 72.9 billion dollar. In contrast, China has the 178 billion dollar. If they have the more budget compared to us, but we if we reduce the pension, then we can go for the capital. Okay, for the weapon modernization. We can go for the weapon modernization. That is the benefit that we can have from this scheme. Okay, there's a one more talk that all India all class recruitment. Okay, all India all class recruitment. The erstwhile regiment system like Punjab regiment, Madras regiment, Dogra regiments and uh, Jammu Kashmir rifle, Jammu Kashmir life infantry, Naga regiment, Maratha life infantry and uh, Arnachal scores. These are the some, somewhere around 26 total 26 regiments are there. These are based upon the region or caste or religion. It has attracted the mixed response. Okay, all India all class recruitment attracted the uh, mixed response and uh, Ajit Doval has said there is a no change. There is a no change. Next one fits that Agni Veers will be the skilled and experienced. Now I will play you a video where Puri sir has explained how this Agni Veers will be skilled and experienced. You have seen Amazon or Flipkart how they function. They pick up something for a warehouse and deliver it to you. Yes. We are delivering ammunition to the enemy. Right. That's a whole different dimension of, uh, you know, supply that chain. That is going to be called education. No, supply like chain. 10 to 12. Supply chain. Supply okay. chain okay. management. So he's looking after inventory. He's taking these trucks which carry ammunition and everything else right down to the front. And then he's supposed to deliver it. This requires a very higher order. And of he's going to be given credits towards credits. education. Yes. Which will be translated into a class 12 diploma. Absolutely. A uh, uh, class 12 uh, certificate. Certificate. Uh, right. And, these, and so these are military skills. It's not, it's, not not, it's not good. Inventory management is Inventory not good. Inventory management. management. Okay. So it's not so going to be conventional history, physics, chemistry, which we studied in school or whatever subject you picked. These are new subjects. These are new subjects. Yes. And they are done with the intention of <laughs> ultimate jobs, uh, possibilities, or <laughs> absolutely right. Study. Chinese military. Okay. They have reduced their foot to soldier. In the in 1980s, they have around 4.5 million soldiers. Currently, they have only two millions. They have deliberately reduced their foot soldiers. Thus, they have can modernize their modernize the their defense force. Coming to the one more example of the Israel Short Service Commission, where the men and women has to serve mandatorily who are abled, men for the thirty months and women for the twenty two months. And so, yet the Israel Defense Force is the one of the best defense force in the world. 
in comparison to israel we are giving a four years of the service okay you are giving the four years of a service then we can also have the best defense force we can also have the best defense force now let us look at the what are the challenges firstly it's a big heart broken for those who are left see for the last two years there was a no no recruitment for the defense forces and many aspirants are awaiting and aspiring to get into the services all of a sudden they have told the age will be the 17.52 21 years and agni path scheme is the only sole entry for the defense forces that's a big heart broken and next one is the as i told you more than 1 lakh of a vacancy created okay for the last two year due to the no recruitment if you consider from now they will recruit around 46 to 50000 we will consider for example they will recruit for the year 2022 they will recruit 50000 for the year 20 23 they will recruit again 50000 if you consider like this and for every year the only 10% 10000 agni virs will be selected for the another 15 years okay and 40 40000 will be left behind or demobilized here the you can see the hidden benefit after the fourth year of the completion of the the first uh, last batch 160000 or near about 150000 agni virs will be left okay or demobilized from the services they are into the service they are into the society without any job without any pension and only 40000 of the agni virs will be continue to the services thus by it's a hidden benefit that uh, uh, the capacity is reduced by the 25% okay the capacity will be reduced by the 25% the next disadvantage is that army will going to lose the best talents because it will no more be the first priority of the caliber 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 candidate they will look for the another opportunity or options and those who are thinking that they are okay with the any job they can they will going for the uh, the services that we can say the second grade caliber candidate will be apply for this post and it has been criticized that the insufficient the six months training is the insufficient because many veteran officers cited that if you have to learn the modernized weapons you may need the 6 to 8 years 6 to 8 years for only training to how to handle the modern weapons with the technology the 6 months will be the insufficient for the insufficient of the training this is the one of the criticization we are come across and there is a no guarantee for the employment no one is giving the guarantee to the employment here many like uh, anand mahindra and uh, rpg group harsha all are giving the assurance okay all are giving the assurance that they will uh, going to give the uh, job opportunities for the agni veers but as of now considering the fact that already the ex service persons are in the society they are not getting a job even if there is a already reservation in many other services even here you can see the 10% percent quota will be given in the capf assam rifle and many other states also have said that they will give the uh, some percentage of the some percentage of the reservation in their uh, police forces or any other jobs but there is a no guarantee only everyone are giving the assurance this is the biggest mistake see what what will going to happen see first of all these agni veers are trained to kill these agni veers are the trained to train to kill okay in case if they get frustrated because of the unemployment or any other circumstantial situations then they may they may get anti social they may get anti social i am not saying the everyone but what if we consider only 1% are the unsound mind only 1% are the unsound mind and you might be aware that the manger in the bihar it's a infamous for the illegal weapons okay illegal weapons if they if they get some weapons here and they are uh, unsound mindset and we are unnecessarily making it a militarization of the society it will going to be the militarization of a society it's a one of the threat that it may arise and 
the next biggest disadvantage will going to be the risk hours people and it will dilute the ethos and values like nam namak nisham it means that these agnivirs will go will not be motivated to take a risk in their job see whenever the the senior directs them to do any job they have to with they have to do that without questioning any single word but what is going to happen as they know they will retire after four years they will not take that risk as before the soldiers would used to take and there is a one more disadvantage is that in us short service soldiers are given the free education that we have also have to ensure to the our agnivirs that we are not doing so the next criticism is that we must have been gone for the pilot project we must have been going for the pilot project and what would be the way forward see if we are considering the unemployment is the problem and we are fixing the unemployment issue by this and this is not the solution because no quick fix solution is the work out for the unemployment see what will going to happen in the services say 100 people are recruited for the first match only 25% will going to be will going to be in the permanent service and the rest 75% will be demobilized here the in the fourth in a four years the competition unhealthy competition will start among themselves and it will lead to the conspiracy it will lead to the conspiracy and the backstabbing and leg pulling like kind of a mindset will going to be happen and it will be the unhealthy overall unhealthy competition will be there we have to ensure the maximum possible education to the agnivirs we have to ensure the maximum possible education to the agnivirs there is a one saying if it works don't fiddle with it it means that we should not do anything that will uh, changes or harm the discipline of the our soldiers so it has to be considered okay so this is the critical analysis of the agnipur scheme and dear student do consider subscribing our tatagar gs prep english channel do let us know as what topic you would like to know in the next video thanks for watching tatagar gs prep